Every one of us under the Constitution has a right to assemble, a right to protest, for whatever cause that we choose. This video will describe in seven steps exactly what to do in case you're arrested during a protest. A lot of this advice will even apply for any arrest period. I'm Sina Resvanpour. I'm a plaintiff's attorney here in California. I help represent the little guy take on corporations. If you're interested in content that helps explain your legal rights so that you are not taken advantage of, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Now let's get started. Before we get started, the best advice I can give is to avoid getting arrested in the first place. That's not to say that you should go running from the cops if they're trying to arrest you, but this advice will best apply if you're lawfully exercising your right to protest. Step number one, leave all of your important possessions at home. Everything that's on you will be bagged as evidence if you're arrested, including your cell phone. That leads us right into step number two, which is to write down the phone number either to a legal aid foundation or an actual attorney that you know or you found. Um, a great attorney would be a criminal defense attorney or a civil rights attorney because you will have your phone taken away and if you have that contact saved in your phone, it's not gonna do you any good when you get your chance to make your phone call. I posted a link to a blog article below It'll give a little bit more detail on all the stuff I'm talking about and we'll have some contact information that you can try using. I don't have any personal connection with these people or foundations, so feel free to vet them on your own. So now that you're actually being arrested, that leads us to step number three, which is to get a friend to record your interaction with the officer. We call this preserving evidence. By recording, you're documenting video evidence of your interaction with the officer. So eventually a judge or a jury can review that and ideally see that you did nothing wrong. Step number four is probably the most important step in any arrest, and it is to shut up. Do not say anything other than saying that you're invoking your right to remain silent. You don't actually have to say that, you can just remain silent, but some people like to say it because it sounds cool. Some people feel awkward strongly asserting their rights, and I totally understand that. It's easy to talk about things in a vacuum, but once you're actually there in person, Things can feel different. It can feel awkward to be silent or to say, I invoke my right to the Fifth Amendment. So what you can do is you can just say, my lawyer told me not to say anything until I speak with them. Step number five is to not grant access to the contents of your phone. Keep in mind, they can't take your phone away from you, but they can't search your phone. So you want to make sure you turn off Touch ID, turn off Face ID. If you don't already have a password on your phone, make sure you add a long password. So step number six is to not give a DNA sample. A DNA sample may be something that's more overt, like a cheek swab, or it could be pretty discreet. They may offer you a bottle or a can of soda, and you take a sip, and now your DNA is all over that. Just keep in mind, when they ask you for a lot of these things, like accessing your phone or uh, getting your DNA, they may make it sound like it's a totally routine process, and this is the first time ever that someone hasn't agreed to it. Do not fall for that. Step seven is to just stay calm. That might not sound like legal advice, but it is gonna take you very far in this experience. So let's imagine for a second that we actually have the benefit of a video of your interaction with an officer. You wanna be the person that looks like the bigger adult. You wanna look like the person that is more responsible and more rational. You wanna be the person that when a judge or a juror looks at this video, that you look like the person that's more calm and in control of the situation. If you look like you are antagonizing the situation, whether you're acting lawfully or not, it's not gonna help you. So to quickly recap, you wanna make sure you leave all your important possessions at home, that you write down on you the phone number of an attorney or a legal aid foundation, that you get a friend to record your interaction with the officer, that you keep your mouth shut, you do not give uh, consent to a search of your phone, that you do not give consent to a DNA sample, and that you stay calm. The right to protest is what makes us American. Hopefully these steps will help you out in case your rights are violated. I'm attorney Sina Resvanpour and this is not legal advice. <laughs>